Hey, what's up guys and welcome to part 2 of my particle engine tutorial. My name is Rodolf and I hope that you guys survived the last tutorial. That was my longest tutorial yet. And I hope you guys like what you were hearing and didn't get bored and of course that's the price you gotta pay to learn, right? So, so anyways, let's just get right on it and start with part 2. So in part 1 we left off talking about the appearance and about the texture and all these. So. Let's go ahead and close the appearance right here. Let's do the appearance variation. So again, like I always say, variation is always good for whatever effect you're doing. And what this gonna do is actually for this, let me skip a quick step right here and I'll and I'll come back and tell you what, what I just did. So so we have the texture angle, and that's pretty much gonna vary the the angle between the textures. For example, right here you see this work is that angle. All of them are the same angle and that wouldn't look realistic in a live action shot because what are the odds like the rocks are going to be the same angle. So that's how you just, you can just pick a random number sometimes and and pretty much what it will do is have the rocks be different angle. It pretty much like, like a magic 8 ball type thing. Just pick a random angle for each ball and then then yeah, so you see we have some nice variety going on here. So, so yeah, well, let's actually leave it like like this. And for a texture angle per second is like if I set it in appearance, how many angles I wanted in this texture. Like I could actually vary that a little bit, so some textures could go faster than others. So so just just a little bit more realism. And the color, is if I want to vary the color, for example, if I put it at a hundred percent, you see all. Oh, all these you have like pink, green, purple, whatever, but we're not gonna need that. And alpha is if we wanna vary the alpha, like right here, like some of them will be fully transparent, some will be half, some will be a tenth, and and yeah, it's rocks, rocks don't aren't transparent. So alright, so that's it for the appearance variation, pretty self-explanatory. And now we go to movement. And what I just did is I changed the life when I earlier and pretty much we have the life here, and that's gonna calculate how long each particles last. So if I had it, the life at one second, then at every one second, you see all these particles that like just disappearing because at every one second they die, they only live one second. So if I put it five seconds, then you will see that they just keep going and going and in at around five seconds, they eventually, you see like they start dying at five seconds. So that's helpful depending on what you're doing, how long you want it to live. Let's let's leave it at three right now. And you have the scale, how big do you want the particles? That's way too big. Since since these are like little rocks, at sixty, yeah, sixty is gonna be good. So for the speed, first thing I'm gonna say about the speed, never change the speed by moving this. Like just just don't touch it because if you move it like see it just already does something and it disappears and pretty much what it's doing is since the speed can go so low or so high it just mess it up like there's no way you're gonna get it exact enough to get where you want so it's always good to just use this because if you just use anything else you're gonna see you already have like a hundred million whatever speed and that's why you don't see anything here it's way too fast so so we have 200 here let's put it here Let's put that 300. And pretty much what this doing is what what's the speed the particles are going out from the point. So 300, they're going like this. For example, if I put it at 500, then it'll be faster than 300. It's already far away. And if I put it at 10, then it'll just be like so slow, so slow. So so yeah, that's what the speed does. If you want, for example, if you're making something explode really fast, you'd want the speed set really high so they just pull, you know, just go. But but yeah, let's bring it back to 200. And acceleration is sort of like gravity, sort of not. I guess I guess that's the best way I can explain it. It's kind of like gravity. Where 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 is a pool that's pulling the the particles that particles at whatever wherever they're going for example you have the different axis that you can choose where, where it's going for example I think this is the X axis I'm not sure but whichever one it is like if we pull it down 
you're gonna see when we go the particles gonna come out and then they start going down so it's pretty much like I said like a gravity type thing so if we're doing like a spark shower you you set the gravity down so that the sparks just fly out and then just go down as as they go so you can increase the strength of it like if I put like the very high strength like they won't even go up they'll just go straight down but if I put like a slight strength strength like they'll go they'll jump up a little bit and then they'll go back down and of course if I put it in positive then they'll just go and keep going up so so yeah let's put that back to zero and also you have the different axis like this is coming this is the z-axis I believe this is either are they coming towards the camera or are they going further away from the camera and this one will be sideways or this side so and we play it is is as if there's a force just pulling it to the left side and you can actually play around with both of them so it'll just be going down left so so I trust that you guys are smart and get this and just try different things and for the center of mass pretty much everything from rotation x to rotation per second they're gonna be affected only if you do something to the center of mass and and let's see if I can explain to you what, what it does real quick in a short amount of time and we have the center of mass let's say we want to move this a little sideways right here wrong axis yeah sometimes you have to like do some trial and error to get the axis right okay so so we moved it right here this is pretty much how you're gonna move the particles and and there's a lot of different ways to move it but this it does something other than just moving it like it wouldn't be the same as if you went to transform and move the thing so okay let's it's good right here so enough and if I wanted to have it up and let me show what you can do with that and like you have the rotation and I'm guessing this is the X angle and have the rotation right here like if this was zero and I try the rotation nothing would happen because unless you do something to the center of mass none of these are gonna work so okay we have rotation X well that's not the right one so so let's say I did this and you're gonna see like it's rotating around the center point which you can use to make some pretty cool effect if I put this to zero let me go back here and if I keyframe it and then go to five seconds and then just spin it like crazy and then let's go to you know play and you see it starts spinning spinning and you see like we have a nice ball I mean is it volcano no tornado tornado type thing going on so of course you can try with different effects of these and and, and just see what works so that's pretty much what the center of mass is it's a way to just get the thing away from the from the center which is right here and then if you want to spin or do whatever rotate it different ways you, you can use that so so you can tr try it on your own time and try different see different cool things you can do with it so so and the same thing with this rotation per second and and yeah so pretty self-explanatory and these right here mass bounce and friction they're mostly gonna be important if you're adding deflectors like if you how much do you want the particles to bounce off the reflector how much do you want it to stick to the reflector and change the mass and things like that so we're not gonna get into deflectors right now so so yeah that's it for movement and movement variation is pretty much the same thing as as every variation thing like for the life is at zero second which means there's no there's a zero second variation rate which means everything will appear at the same time and they will die at the same time and and yeah so let's say if I put like a one one point eight seconds that's pretty much gonna mean there's gonna be like a one point eight second interval between the death the death of each of the particles so some of them will die one 1.8 seconds later than they were supposed to while some of them will die 1.8 seconds before they were supposed to and then some will die in between so so it depends on what you're having if you don't want everything to die at the same time 
then you can add some variation and then that will work. And but let's put it to zero. And for scale, it's pretty much like the product self-explanatory. If you don't want everything to be the same side size, like all of these are the same size. But say I say, you know what, I want some bigger rocks and I want some smaller rocks. So so like you see, you have some tiny stuff here, some big ones here. So again, as realism, variation is always good because everything in real life varies so much. And then the speed again, same thing as before, never touch this. But let's say you don't want the speed, everything to be going away at the same speed. Then I could add some variation to it and you'll actually see some of them go faster. While, like for example, this guy right here, this guy is pretty slow. Look at him. So, so yeah. Let's put back to zero. And again, with the acceleration, what rate do you want it to be going? And center of mass and all of these. So these add variation to the movement stuff. So, so yeah, I'm gonna end this tutorial. But right before I do, there's something I I, I know I didn't find that, find about it until a while after using the program. Like if you go right here, you will see emitters and then you will see this. That's if you wanna add another emitter. Let's say I wanted to make like a bunch of rocks explode, but then I also wanted to add, a, add some smoke to it. Then I would just click here, add to add another emitter and then you just see like the white bubbles show up again. And then I would customize that to be smoke that would go along with it. And then right here you have particle system. If you want the same, if you're happy with the way your emitter is going and well, if you want the same, a different particle, but with the same emitter, for example, the same sphere or the same point you use, then you just click here to add another particle system. So the emitter is starting over pretty much while the particle system, you're still going to keep the point, you're still going to keep the random, you're still going to keep the traje trajectory and everything, but it'll just be a new particle system. And for deflectors, like these will always, you won't ever be able to do, the, the, do anything with these unless you go here and then you click add a deflector. And then for deflector, you can choose a shape or if you have a layer, you can choose whatever layer you want to add as a deflector. So, so yeah, you know what? Let's do a quick deflector test right here. What the crap, you know? Hey, if you guys want to learn, you won't mind the length of the video. So first, let's go here. Let's add a new layer, a plane. Yeah, let's give it a nice blue color. Let's make the plane 3D. And let's rotate the plane. All right, and let me move it. Okay, so let's go back to our particle and I added a deflector and what you're gonna wanna do is change it from cuboid to layer. And I change it to layer and it's gonna, you know, which well, which layer is it? So it's called play, plane one. So let's go plane one. So that's now the deflector. So if you go Oh, hold on yeah when you're doing deflector you gotta make sure which which size you're using because if you use the wrong side then it, the deflector won't actually work or oh, let's see yeah the deflector won't actually work so let me actually go back and rotate the plane it was negative 94 degrees let me put it positive 94 degrees okay so so yeah we have to make sure you have the right side and if I go, you will see that these are actually hitting this and bouncing off. So if I move the layer even closer to it, you see they're just coming out of the particle and just bounce off, bounce off, bounce off. So, so yeah, now you know how to do the deflector if you didn't know that. And, you know, try some tests. And remember, if you want to ever change the movement variations, I mean the movement for the... Re deflectors you can go to bounce if i want this stuff to bounce a lot then you see it just bounce and just flying away from it or if i want the bounce to be very low then they'll hit it and they won't even go anywhere so so yeah and thanks for watching this tutorial and let me know if i need to improve on anything and be sure to subscribe if you want more tutorials this is probably gonna be 
I've been putting out tutorials probably every day or every two days for the past week or so. So I've been, you know, trying to get you guys understanding basic things. And for from now, you pretty much understand a lot of the cool stuff about the particle engine. I probably will do one more video about the particle engine. Then I'm gonna switch my style a little bit. I'm gonna like show you how to make like how effects work in hit film. I'm gonna pretty much make a cool video like the demonstrating a cool effect then I'll teach you guys how to make the effect and of course if you guys ever want want like to request a tutorial just inbox me or comment on the video and then request it and and yeah if you ever want me to talk about something in a video and I'll be happy to help you out so so yeah if you like this video be sure to like it because people who don't like it always dislike it so if you like it of course you should like it like 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 it so so yeah thanks for watching and have a nice day